All right, what's up, what's up, what's up? Uh, this is What's the Remedy Podcast. It's your boy, Dr. J. Day one. Ashley Ray. And we have a special guest today, Miss Zakia. Hey. From hey. The, uh, so- hey. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to have another female. I missed the last female. I know, you were gone. Yeah, but- I'm sick. It's, it's good. We got Zakia here from the Facts of Life podcast. What's yes. up? What's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? Doing good. I'm Glad. chilling. I, yeah, I'm here. I'm alive. So. Yeah, you made it through another one. Yeah, we talked about the last one. Yeah. It's a way to survive. Yeah. I'm blessed. <laughs> So before we get too deep, I want to go ahead and, you know, kind of just start it off with just kind of asking Zakia some questions, just randomly. Uh, just kind of like, where are you from? Where are you, where are you coming from? Because I know you're not from Houston. So where are you from? So I am originally from New Haven, Connecticut. And oh. for people that don't know, um, that's the East Coast, tri-state area, like New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, we are in very close proximity of each other. Right. Um, so yeah, I was born and raised there. August will make two years um, that I have been in Houston. How do you like it so far? Uh, let's see. So when I first got here, <laughs> it was a struggle. It was a culture shock. I struggled. Black people? So- no. <laughs> okay, so New Haven. All right, so everybody asked me. Yes, I grew. I went to a predominantly black, so-called black high school. I went to black church. Grew up in a black neighborhood. My parents are black. Um, yeah, I didn't grow up. I didn't grow up around any like Spanish people, Mexicans. A lot of Like we have a lot of Puerto Ricans um, in Connecticut. So they live on the other side of town, but long story short, I grew up around black people. Like we have projects out there. Um, My mom's house is pretty much in the middle, smack dab middle in the hood. So yeah, that's how I grew up. But um, the shock was, I don't know, I feel like personality, um, I had a little hard time with people's personalities down here. Explain. Uh, yeah, I told something this weekend. Because <laughs> I feel like, you know, people up north were very direct, mm. um, honest, and we, to be <laughs> No, y'all don't lie, but y'all are y'all are way more polite down here. That's what I got to I got told. I'm really polite and passive, and y'all oh, that's fucked up. And, um, <laughs> I'm, and I'm conservative, and I thought. I'm not yeah. the conservative one. They ain't met my other friends before. Like, I'm not the conservative. But yeah, I got the. Well, not. I, I shouldn't say. I shouldn't generalize. But a lot of people here, I feel like, are passive and conservative and like, oh, you shouldn't do that. And I'm oh, just like. So y'all like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Right. Oh, like, what's up? You know? Right. So, yeah, it, it was a very. I think, I think people down here think that that's like being hospitable like if you if you don't come out and say everything that's on your mind all the time like just hold it in then maybe you're being nice that's me being nice yeah you but know. your mom tells you if you don't have nothing nice to say just don't say, say nothing at all yeah. Yeah. So i'm working kinda... on that too but i don't know i just feel like i feel like yeah people are just being polite down here and i'm just like you don't have to be not saying that you don't have to be nice but it's just like you know, just say what's on your mind. Like, I won't feel a type of way, you know? Right, and I yeah. feel like people, they try to coddle your feelings and shit like that. And it's like, no, yeah. you might be right about this. I need the real deal. I need to know what's up. Like, I need a yes or a no. <laughs> like, that's what I need. Like, so would you say that that's like the biggest difference between Connecticut and there? Like, just the people? How do y'all mean? Um, oh, my the men? <laughs> <laughs> the men down here, I'm kind of... I don't know. I feel like men are pretty much the same universally. Yeah. I don't know. It, I like I said, <laughs> the men. Oh, okay. What I will say about the men down here is that they want to be your friend. <laughs> they they really want. Are you serious? So let me play the role. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like y'all like, y'all really want to start friendships, and I'm like, nigga, with benefits. 
No, not even that. No, it's some men that I met down here have genuinely yeah. like, yeah, Shit. I just want to be your friend, and I'm what? just like, hey, okay, yeah. like that's fine, but you talking about this? Like, what's next? No, like, no, what no, no, my friend. That's just you. Yeah, I'll say that's just you. I because men are friendly on here. Men are I want to be friends. They don't want to be friends. Niggas want to. Maybe they want to be your friend, and then you kind of push them away. You asking too many questions. I don't no, no. no. But I'm just saying, that's that's the only that's the only explanation because niggas is friendly. Like that's what they do. We friendly people. What they want to do in Connecticut? They ask a lot of questions. They don't like. I feel like, like I said, like the men of like people up north, they're they're more direct. So it's like you know if they want to have sex with you or if they want to be in a relationship with you or if they want to date you. Like it's hard to tell with. With guys down here, like they'll play games, girl. Not you don't even, even know they got another uh, chick on the I, other I, side I, of town. Or no, another I wife. would agree. No, no, I'm saying like a lot of men down here will play the fence. Like we'll ride the fence about right. you know, friendship, about relationships. Yeah. yeah, I've I've recently dealt with something like that because um, he would like this guy I I met in December. He was saying like when we first met, he was like, yeah, I don't want a relationship, and it's like we doing relationship shit. Um, right. A month into yeah. the friendship, so and I'm just relationship like, now. no, no, okay. we're friends yeah. right now. We're friends, um, but it wasn't even a situation ship because, like, we got a dog together. It was just that's a, a situation. That's a child. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a whole rela- like you feel know what I'm trying to say. Like that's a whole relationship. Like yeah. you know, yeah. like if you're yeah. getting yeah, me a dog, dog yeah. yeah, if you're getting me a dog, then. <laughs> You get the we're, child support. we're in a relationship, you know, at this point. Yeah. Um, I mean, but like, like Washington said, it's kind of like we we like to straddle that fence because it, it feels like, good hey, to be in a situation like that. I don't like for what? That shit. It, it does. I'm too old for that shit. It's fucked up. It is fucked up. I'm saying, it's it's how how best, I mean, it's bad, it. but it just feels good. But at I don't time. mean nobody trying to be a friend, like be a real friend. I know we gonna play games. Right. Like, try to kiss on me. It's, not, homeboy. it's nothing wrong with be like it's nothing wrong with being friends, but it's like don't say you want to be friends or you don't want a relationship and then you start doing relationship, relationship shit. shit yeah. Yeah. Unless you're gonna pay a bill. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. You don't pay no bills. Okay. 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 No, 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 we can't no be bills. friends. <laughs> you want to be friends. No, we can't pay no bills. Okay. So okay, so how did you get kind of into the whole podcasting thing? What, what, what kind of turned you on to it? Okay, it was free. Mm, I'll start there. <laughs> um, but I graduated with my degree in communications, and you know, my last semester of school, I'm like, yeah, I want to do radio. Well, I had a radio show in college too, but I'm like really trying to pursue radio. And then, you know, quickly after I graduated, I realized that getting into radio is not easy. And um, so. I was working corporate America, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I moved here and then I had already been listening to podcasts, but then somebody suggested like, why don't you just do one, you know, cause it's free. It's another way for you to create and stop waiting on, you know, the radio station to give you a job because they, nine times, they may not give you a job and you know, so it's like, I wanted to document my journey here in Houston too as well. So that's how I got started. Oh. Yeah. We, we kind of have like similar stories. I mean, I, I didn't know anything about podcasting to begin with. I just started, my girlfriend was like, hey, you should listen to this stuff. And I was like, cool. Yeah. And so then I was like, I, I, I like to say, mm. oh, that's me. Oh, oh that's right. My phone did not disturb. Huh? Oh, well. It was, people be calling me from San Antonio now, but I don't even know. Some bill collectors. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, let me turn it off. Anyway, so yeah, so we, we kind of got into the same thing, and then like we kind of, I said I wanted to do it. Wash was like, I want to get into it too. And then one day Ashley stopped by and was a guest on the show, and we were like, it's well, like my therapy. Yeah, we need yeah. Ashley mm-hmm. to stay. Yeah, I better see some growth with this. Just a little bit, just a little bit. We, we've little seen bit. your growth. A little Thank bit. you. I'm coming yeah. a long yeah. way. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It was rough. We've been at no, but you know, but you have a lot of stuff yeah. built inside, like a lot of us do, that you need to put out. There. I did. I yeah. lost a lot of people and gave them out. That's cool. Yeah. And I think that's what podcasting is good for. You're able to just kind of talk things out. I mean, even if you by yourself, because I've caught myself, like when I first started thinking about podcasting, I kind of just went over what I would just talk about by myself. Right. And then, like, it is kind of therapeutic, you mm-hmm. know, it's cathartic. 
yeah. how do you do it by yourself? Um, it's a challenge. Like when I first started doing it, I'm like, what the hell? Like I, cause I'd be on Snapchat. Like when I first got to Houston, I'd be on Snapchat and talk mm -hmm. about my dating experiences here, and everybody's like laughing and shit, you know. So I'm like, okay, let me talk about this on the, you know, on the podcast. And then I will say that another podcaster from out here, he actually helped me to be a better solo podcaster. And yeah. he told me to start talking like, you know, somebody's in the room with me. So I don't know. I just I, I try to come up with different things that are going on in my life that maybe people could relate to or whatever. So I really, it's a challenge, though. I like that you do what is um, living my best life. Oh yeah. yeah, I like that. That's a good thing. Yeah, like it, it's a good way to start I mean, your yeah. Right, right, right. I had sex probably my best life. That's funny because I started that segment <laughs> because you know I moved into my apartment and I was just like living free and just doing really destructive shit. And like now I look back on it, but it was just like, hey, I'm living my best life, and it's like. I really, I was, but at the same time, same time, I really wasn't. Like, right. It wasn't yeah. good for my mental health, you know. So, yeah. but now we're working on it. I mean, I'm living like, a better life. It, it, that's why I say it, like it's good to have at the beginning of your podcast because it's like focusing on positivity, and right. that's one of the big things that you know helps with your mental health anyway. Even if it is bad things, like I, right. I really <laughs> don't, I don't even knock people for doing like you know, somewhat toxic things. Yeah. Even if it's like, you know, I'm just trying to live my best life. I'm trying to enjoy myself. I'm like, hey, as long as you're not hurting anybody else per se, you're I, okay. I, I right. be all right. All right. I'm I all mean, right. Thing. Hopefully you fix it. Okay. But, you know, <laughs> for right now you'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it works out from there. But I, I really like that segment for me real. Me too. Thank you. Know, you. Yeah. Um, let me see. Do you have any more questions? Do you have more questions to ask me? Because you need Yes, you got don't put me on the spot. I don't like to be on the spot. Never mind, never mind, Ashley. Never mind. Um, so, so what is your? What do you say is like your best experience so far in Houston? What is the mm. best thing you like about Houston? My best experience. Ooh, that's a really good question. I'm nice. stumped. <laughs> you made me mess up on my quiz. Like, my oh. best experience in Houston. I would say. Doing the podcast mm. because, like, I got to meet people. Um, I discovered a lot of things about myself yeah. as a you know as a young woman, as a creative, um, as an entrepreneur. Um, so I would say doing this because, like, I'm doing this podcast because I'm here in Houston. Right. Yeah. So I would say doing the podcast. That's cool. That. Yeah. I that. What would be your worst experience in Houston so far? That's even better question. Yeah. No, <laughs> my it's worst experience. Oof. Um. <laughs> so when I first got here, um, you know, I was going out on a lot of dates, and this one guy I went out with, we went. This was like during football season. We went to Diablo's. Mm, and what is that? Hold on. I don't even remember his name. I blocked him. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I'm just how fast you jumped on it. Like, you probably do shit. No, I don't know. I don't um, know like this. <laughs> so we went to Diablo's and you know we order drinks, we order food, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna be right back." And I'm like, "Okay." So the nigga I'm never worried. came I'm, back. I'm, I'm, what the fuck? <laughs> shut up! Shut up! <laughs> What the fuck? The nigga never came I back. I don't like it, and I wasn't gonna say that. I don't Man, like that shit. That's crazy. <laughs> Did, what'd you do? I don't even know how to so, deal with that type of shit. He <laughs> didn't call or text nothing, like, you wow. know? So I just paid, because I got to order my food already, so I just paid for it, sat there. I'm, I'm okay with eating by myself, you know? Like, but it's not a big you deal. paid for his food, too? No, he didn't order food. He just paid for the drinks. I had ordered the food, and then when I ordered the food, he left. What, what, so day man, what day y'all went? A Thursday? On a Sunday. Mm. Sunday okay. uh, yeah, I'm so like we went to initially watch the game. 
Oh, hell no. Don't go to Thotty Thursday. Yeah. No, I have been on Thotty Thursdays to Diablos. <laughs> like, that used to be my whole thing when I yeah. first got Yeah, I mean, Diablos used to be kind of lit on Thursdays. Yeah, but that yeah. first time I went, I did some shit I wasn't supposed to do. What you doing? I don't about? want to talk about it. I'm a changed woman. Two years ago, we got Two years ago? What the hell? I'm a changed woman. That was last month. Yeah, I was about to talk about it. <laughs> no, I didn't. I don't know about it. Yeah, you did. About four months ago. Like, no. It was this year, but it wasn't last month. Don't do me like okay. that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> just let me, nigga, yeah, when I knock on the door, you open the motherfucking door. I, I ain't never, I ain't never really just heard of somebody actually doing that, like walking out on the field or nothing like that. Yeah, I don't know. And then like the next you, day he texts me. He texts you? Yeah, he texts me. He what was the like, fuck? what's his name? For real. I really don't remember. <laughs> no, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going Wait, 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 what, what the text message the, say? Like, what the text message say? He was saying, like, you know, I'm sorry I had an emergency. <laughs> hey, big <man. laughs> Don't do that. I hate that shit. Pretty much, he was, like, saying, like, hey, and I'm just like, nigga. Like, you forgot about this shit. The next day. Hey, yes, hey, hey stranger. Day. He's from Houston? Yeah. yeah. He's from the he north from the, Oh, no, no, not the north. Yeah, from the north side. From the north. That might be my cousin or some shit. You from the north side? No, I'm from the east, but my people from the north. Oh, okay. Homestead, Texas. Stand up. Shut up. I'm just saying. No, you from the north side. That's why. North east side, baby. Place on road, Texas. What is it? Mason Road? Oh, Mason Road. Mason Road. Oh, I just, I say Mason. Oh, my bad. What the fuck? I ain't from, whatever. I say whatever comes. Mace Road, Homestead, Wayside. Okay, but I had nobody leave on the bill. I had somebody couldn't pay the bill. I, that's the thing. I don't know if he couldn't pay. But he probably couldn't pay. He went to the restroom, pulled up the app. <laughs> like it ain't, it ain't I didn't know. But he paid, like, he might have paid, he paid with cash. He might not have the <coughs> cash. Probably. Yeah, I don't know. Or somebody was in there, he had to get the fuck out. Right. I didn't get that before. I was like, we gotta go. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. 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 Yeah
Yeah, I'm at two ninety. You deep? Uh, you deep? I'm at five twenty nine. Deep in Cypress is like going Bark of Cypress and uh, Tail G and all them roads. I don't even remember down. how to get to. Oh, I lived in. I lived off of Bark Cypress. Yeah, Bark Cypress is deeper than me. Like yeah. I'm not even that deep. So I'm, I'm at the all beginning right. of Cypress. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. like going those. Yeah, you was high. <laughs> you was high. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. But no, we that that's uh that's crazy that he walked out on that nigga. That's that's just still tripping me out. Dang, I didn't even think about it like that. I just thought like maybe like, something like, happened, like, something really happened. I still would tell you like, hey, I gotta go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but that's yeah, what he said. That's oh, he, he, so he told you. He, he was like, yeah, I have to go. Like my sister just called me. I have an emergency. But I now that I think about it, maybe he was lying. <laughs> I don't oh, know. Shit, I don't know. I would I would think that the next day he would have gone into like a more in depth explanation. He uh, tried to, but I was over it at that uh, point. Like, so what do you do if you do meet some? This this is my biggest thing. You meet someone that you met off a line, and you be like, nah, this ain't gonna work. So how do I get out of that? You meet them in person. How do I get out of that? I don't know. I mean, I would, cause I'm gonna use that shit. I, no, I, I would go through like. If I, I would, would go through with a date and I'm then just through, be like, hey, yeah, no. I've gone through a date before where like I met them off of this is a long time ago. Like when yes. Tinder first came yeah. out, uh-huh. like I met somebody off of Tinder when Tinder first started. And I went on a date with this girl. We went out. I mean, she was cool people, but like I was just like, nah. Not doing it. Yeah. It's, but like we were out. I think we were like torches or something like that. And I was like, you know, we can go ahead and finish. What was wrong? Why you weren't feeling it? I don't want to get in there. No, I need to no, know because my shit. <laughs> I want to know. Y'all be asking me. You, I'm are, you want to know what really what what the, the real fuck? problem was? Yes. So at, at this point, I had kind of discovered some things about hair and stuff, right? And so she, what, she had a mustache? No, no, no. Oh, she, she, like, you could see the front part of her closure. Like, it was a little bit, like, oh. too far back. And so oh. I, was like, I was like, she couldn't sit there with me, right? Like, <laughs> so I, I did not have kids. <laughs> Like I can't, I couldn't do it. Like I, once I saw it, like I saw like the whole lace front up there, and I was like, oh no, I can't, I can't deal with her. Yeah. And so this was, uh, this was happening like, this happened like 2012, maybe 2013. This is a long time ago. You can't do your hair right. Like, you can't set your wig right. We can't, we can't click, man. Yeah. I'm sorry. I expect you to pay a bill like to help me support me and shit. You can't even put your stick. You can't. I'm on a blind date and the nigga had gold teeth in his mouth and I ain't know. I looked at his picture. You talking about the dude with the two uh, different shoes? Yeah. Oh, this yeah. nigga was Two different shoes. He said he liked J's. He liked to wear two different shoes. It was all fucked oh, up. God, he yeah. told me he was 5'7". He Play. was 5'4". I was like, what the fuck? Oh, the men are short out here. Oh, oh, thank you. So they tall on the East Coast, girl? They're way taller. <laughs> I don't really like tall men. I, I got a problem. She she wants somebody that she can beat. Wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not I mean, me. Not me. I don't. You shit. Not way up See, I like tall guys, and people think like, "Oh, well, you're short." I don't care. I don't like. So short you stand men. on top of the chair when you cut the ass out. No, not oh. really. But I just prefer. I would say I prefer tall men. But since I've been here, I haven't really had much of a choice. So yeah, yeah no. Welcome people to the shortland. Short. <laughs> I'm gonna put them on my back. We can roll out. Nah, little midget down there's a lot of short men over here though. I mean, I, I don't I don't know why. I can't really tell you why, but they're just shorter. Cause y'all be in hog mug, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, <laughs> we stuck, stuck <laughs> all that pork stuck in your Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. We do eat but a lot the, of pork though. But yeah, the women y'all eat top. way more heartier meals down here. Oh. We eat like bagels and shit. Hmm. Back oh. home. I feel you. It's all good though. <laughs> We're gonna move on to like the main segment real quick though. Um, so our main segment for today is gonna be uh, well, our check yourself. Our check yourself segment is basically the segment that we go into all the things like health related, usually mental health, but anything health related really that we need to kind of highlight and talk about. So today we want to kind of focus on because like, people have been taking a lot of ills lately. So, so you can talk about little things like uh, Drake. Took he did take he a L. I don't care what nobody says. He, he took a L. L. Okay. He took an L. I just discovered that he took a like because I did a, a a podcast yesterday and they explained to me like what was going on with the whole rollout with his Adidas thing or yeah. whatever. Like mm-hmm. so, yeah, he definitely. Yeah, no, he he took yeah. an L. He took a financial L. He right. Took, right. Oh. Yeah. No, he took an L, but 
I mean, he's, he's, he's gonna be fine because he's Drake, right, and he'll put out his album, and he'll have some club bangers on it. He'll be fine. Right. But the big thing is, like, whenever we deal with people taking L's or us taking L's, really, it's kind of it's important to focus on, like we said before, kind of focusing on the positive. Mm -hmm. So I guess we're gonna go around. Mm -hmm. We'll start. Uh, we're gonna start with Ashley because Ashley loves being put on the spot. So <laughs> we're gonna go around and just. Kind of talk about. I mean, I guess you don't have to give a time that you took an L, but how do you? How many handle? L's have I took? Yeah, just tell how you handle my L. L. Like you don't have to tell me what it was. <laughs> you a seasoned L taker. <laughs> I took some L's. Hey, my L's though. Fuck it. Yeah. So, so how do you handle it? Like, what do you do? What, what's your first step when you realize that you're doing something? Uh, we can go back to the whole dating situation. When you're in a dating situation where you're talking to somebody, and you realize that somebody you shouldn't be talking to. What's your first mental step? in that situation? I'm good in a situation where I know right then and there we shouldn't be talking. I'm like, okay, I can move on from it. You it's just stop talking to them. Yeah, I'm gonna need a break, like for real. How do you, do you tell them as soon as that happens? Like you be like, okay, is it? I'm I've learned now you ain't got to tell nobody shit. You just go ahead and do it. Cause me telling you, I'm not gonna do it. Me telling you like, I'm not gonna talk to you right now. Let me take a break. Niggas like to play games. Unfortunately, niggas I fuck with will still be like, well, hey, Ashley, just checking on you. Don't need no text message back. So you don't want people to So you go on? ghost. Yeah, I gotta block, I gotta get you out of my system. It's like a fucking drug over here, yeah. So you just stop talking to Yeah, I need to get me together. Then I'll be all right. Do, do you ever out. go back to talking to that person? Yeah, see my ex the other day. <laughs> I see my ex at the end, I'm like, what's up, baby? And that's a nigga I tried to run off the road, you know what I'm saying? We still good. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. And he was talking to, actually he'd been conversating with one of my friend's roommates. You know, wow. when they found out we used to talk, she looked down crazy, but that's like nigga. I thought he had a gal, but you know. Oh, wow. I took that business out. I, I did. I know, I'm not going to do that, but. <laughs> he better take a big L. <laughs> 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 I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It's just a couple people. I was like, hey. I mean, what about you, Wash? How, how do you take L's? How do you take L's? Shit, the best way possible. Like, at the end of the day, you take an L, try to bounce back from it, try to try to rebound. Because, like, most people don't rebound from taking an L. Some people go into a, a deep depression and, mm. you know what I'm saying, get mentally distraught and I try to know. fade off. What? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what I'm saying, but, like I said, if I deal with an L, whether it be relationship-wise, work-wise, whatever the case may be, you always try to remind yourself, at the end of the day, whatever I'm going through, somebody's going through something worse. Right. So, I need, so I need to be thankful. Oh, I'm something better about to come. Yeah, something better about to come. Every time I took an L, something better came. Yeah. So, so, so I think, like, if you're taking an L about something, you'd be like, a lot of people think, like, oh, I'm taking this L, something bad happens to me, it's the end of the world. Yeah. But, like I say, at the end of the day, what if I'm going through, somebody's going through something probably 10 times worse than I'm going through. So I need to kind of push through. So I have a question. Mm -hmm. You ever took an L on something that you stepped out on faith on, and you took that L, and people like, I told you, nigga, not to do that. But you like, fuck that. I took that L, and I, I don't care. Like, I'm going to make this work some type I think, of way. I think with anything you do, like I say, especially like in relationships, whatever, you take that L, like but you said. Like, don't talk to this yeah, person. Yeah, you don't talk she, to this person. You be like, and yeah. you be like, I, I like this person's personality. I see potential in them. Yeah, yeah, they fuck you over. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You, you spend all the money, they, you know what I'm saying? Money gets. Change hands and Man, stuff like that. That's the biggest one for like us as a family. What you mean? <laughs> taking, people taking be telling you financial ills. Like, you know what I'm saying? I take financial ills too, boo. <laughs> you better make a bill. Leave them niggas at home. I mean, man, we could go back. You want to go back? No. We can go back. I ain't pay no bill. I got my money back though. Mm. The hard way. What about you, Mr. Kid? You, 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 how do you handle when you, when you know that you're taking an L anywhere? You, you don't let your ill define you. Mm. That too. Um, I would say like I just persevere and like pray. Um, <laughs> I like I like to journal. Um, to you know get through whatever is going on. Uh, therapy when I can afford it. Um. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I feel like pray, talk to friends, try to um, watch something oh, funny, <laughs> or listen to at the time like listen to podcasts that are funny. Right. Um, I really don't sit down and watch t 
TV too often, but like podcasting is my whole thing. So like try to listen to a funny podcast to uplift my spirits. But um, I would say like now I'm getting to, into the whole like spirituality thing. So like praying, meditating, mm-hmm. um, like my sage or whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. What got you going in that direction? Like getting more into prayer and kind of, you sound like kind of going like into meditation and stuff like that. What? Cause I just feel like it be so much going on in my world, in my life, in my brain and stuff, mm-hmm. and it's like I just need a moment to just detach, you know, like just to get away from yeah, my phone, yeah. you know. Well, I don't, like I said, I don't really don't watch TV, but my phone mainly, yeah. Yeah. this phone is addictive. So like getting away from the phone and just focusing on, you know, myself, trying to say positive affirmations as well. Um, but just, I just wanted to relax. Was it hard for you to start meditating? It yeah, it's hard. It is hard in my head. It's, Cause it's like with meditating, you're trying to focus on one thing, you know, and it's hard when you have like 30 tabs open in your head, you know, you're overthinking. So I'm still working on it. I'm only in the beginning stages of meditating. Um, so yeah. But you think it's some type of change? Definitely, I'm way more calm. <laughs> I always kind of wondered about like, have you ever tried? Have you gotten into like, okay, I have a friend. And like it was my roommate in college, and so like when we I went to his house, <laughs> yeah. and when I went to his house uh, one time, like they had like crystals and stuff everywhere. I came with his wife. I like. I just bought some crystals. For real? Yeah. yeah. I, I never, like I never understood that. it. I never but I don't know nothing about it like that. Yeah, like that, I mean, I felt the same way about light and sage. Like I kind of understand light and sage now, but like they, they have like a, a big orange looking rock in the middle of their living room. And I'm like, yeah. Oh. We grew up like my mom. I grew up Catholic, so when she prayed, she still like incense and stuff in the house. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, What's burning up in here? I'm like, no, praying. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> See, I like I like incense to get the smoke smell of the apartment. Not to <laughs> not to pray, um, but yeah. Um, hey, y'all know your heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, I recently just bought crystals and like I'm new to that too as well. But I don't yeah. know. I feel like the crystals they just make me feel like yeah, safe like in a way. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. I kind of need that. What what you want to do with crystals? I mean, you got to research it. I don't. For me, I keep them next to my my bed. You can carry them with you. Um, some some people they carry them in their purse and their wallet. Um, so my homeboy like. Because he had sex with a girl and she dropped her crystal. Hello. She dropped her crystal. I was just like, where, where is the necessary information? <laughs> it's my crystal, I mean. And uh, she dropped her crystal. I, I came over there and I was like, what's this on the floor? He's talking about, oh, that girl left it. I didn't want to touch shit. I thought it was a voodoo. I was like, oh. Okay. <laughs> they should not your house down. Right. They should not your house. She got college and I need my crystal back. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. People get really into the crystal thing and I. And I I mean, I, I don't know that I'll ever be into it, but I think it's interesting. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, and I think that it's a good way to handle things. Like, I think, and and people kind of feel some type of way about this, because I've, I've been Christian my whole life, right? Because I'm a preacher's son, so, like, I've been uh, in church my whole life. And so, like, but my whole thing is, I, I do believe, you know, that in Christian ideals and everything, uh, but at the same time, I also believe that I think people should be allowed to do whatever makes them feel Whatever they put, you know, their faith in, I can't really argue with it. I think that it may be wrong, but if it brings you down and it keeps you from being depressed, I mean, get your crystals. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, I also instincts. stopped going to church too. Me too. Um, it's about to be. Oh, it's gonna be a. Well, I went when I went back home in March. I visited the church that I grew up in. Mm-hmm. Um, but other than that, that was my first time going to church. Like. In the past year, why you stop? Um, it's a number of reasons. I just didn't feel the connection anymore. Um, do you feel like it's a show? Yeah. Um, I also feel like religion is put in place to control you. Mm. Um, I can't afford it. 
<laughs> you can't afford you can't afford to go to church. Well, what to pay tithes and stuff? Yeah, I was like, this man, this is a good thing. Uh, it's true because this nigga said we gonna get a he said we gonna get a balcony in the back. Yeah. I need y'all to get five hundred dollars. I was like, I can't afford this shit. Let me stop coming. <laughs> I wasn't a preacher's kid, but I grew up in church. Me like, too. So but, I just saw that there was no progress being made, and I didn't feel like like what am I doing here? What am I learning? You know, like, what are y'all teaching me? And it's like, my my church from back home, for example, and this is not every church. Of course. But, like, my pastor, for <laughs> my pastor, for example, like, my family grew up in this church. So, my cousin, who is, I don't even know how to describe this nigga, but he's just, he just does, he's a criminal. You know, like, <laughs> let me just, you know, let me yeah. just put it out there. He's a fucking criminal. And this nigga is in charge of driving the church vans and <laughs> doing all this bullshit in the church. Like, you got some type of authority. What type of criminal is he? He's See, like, I don't know the details. <laughs> like, that's the thing. You know, with black families, they try to keep secrets. Tell him weed is not a crime. No, 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 no. I think he's done <laughs> stole from people, no, sold drugs. Oh, yeah, no. Stealing from the... Damn, okay. Yeah, no, even just... See, I don't, I don't know if he stole from the church, but I'm saying, like, mm-hmm. my pastor knows Probably his background. Like, he's driving yeah. the church man? Driving the church man, you know, like, um, doing the sound system yeah, and shit, system, yeah. like... No, no, say, sir. That's, that's I, a lot of niggas like that. I was gonna say that's usually how it goes because they be like, we're gonna reclaim this nigga because like, yeah, he they they but it's like you're not helping him. <laughs> like right. that's my thing. It's like, <laughs> like yeah, he could be involved in the church, but it's like don't give him that responsibility to have other people's lives in his hand when you haven't even seen any change in him. It's not like you're helping him to become a better person and just like here, like he's a liar, like he's a a con artist, you right. know, like he's gonna lie to you, and it's like. <laughs> He could be, I feel like you could be in a church. Everybody should be able, be welcome to come to church. Right. But I feel yeah. like when you're dealing with people's children and people's lives, then it's like, okay. Yeah. And that, no. that's kind of how I feel about church, too. I mean, because I, like, well, I grew up in the church. I watched it online this past time. I like, <laughs> so, but no, and even then, like, I watched, I watched the online service, and I don't, I can't really get into, like, this new praise and worship thing people do. It's like a whole white people thing. I don't, I don't what know. you mean? Oh, like, like the non-denominational yeah, like the type non-denom- shit? Like, it yeah. all be, like, upbeat white people kind of sounding praise music. Like, it don't be gospel no more. Yeah, like, it like, don't be, it's like mainstream yeah. radio. Yeah, yeah got it. Okay. Yeah, so like it's the mega church feel. Yeah. And so like and the lights and the smoke. Yeah, light, I was telling you, smoke, smoke in the church. Y'all should See, be coughing with that. The <laughs> mega church thing is new to me. Like being out here, like I grew up in a small church, like yeah. two, three hundred people. Like these thousands and the stages and the lights, cameras, action. Like I'm like, uh, uh-uh, yeah. that's too much. And that's another thing. My church likes to take pictures of you, and everybody used to be like, Ashley, you going through some things. You look, you were crying. I was praising the Lord, and right. I was happy, but, but they y'all put, put on film. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> but they got some issues. Right. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. like, yeah. you're a good picture for yeah, the Yeah, now you're on the hell time of the video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, we can help you too. Look at this center. Like, yeah. nah. Fuck. But church is like, a business. I think yeah, and that. that that's what I kind of turns me off about it. But I mean, just to keep kind of with the theme, though, like, that's why I feel like, you know, whatever people have to do to get keep from being depressed, like, I, I personally, like I said, I believe in church. But, I mean, I don't believe in the church. I just believe in the Christian ideals. And I don't think the church, exempl- like, mm-hmm. you know, implements those all the time. Mm-hmm. But um, I think that, you know, me living my life should give some kind of an example. But not, I don't look at anybody's church as being an example. But like, I, I, as far as like crystals, burning sage, uh, I know people that are like, you know, Muslim, Buddhist, whatever. If if it gives you a lot of times, well, all you need is a belief in something, right? To keep you from like when you take an L, to be like, okay, well, I took an L, but you know, I tomorrow believe that day. you know, tomorrow's yeah. new day. They they give you some quote from Buddha. They give yeah. you some. I mean, <coughs> some people. I mean, even if some people just use like Malcolm X quotes, I mean, that's fine. Right. Whatever gives you. The, the push you need to make it past this downtime in your life because everybody's gonna have downtime. Right. And I think that's what we gotta come to is that like, you know, you gonna take a loss every time. You, you I don't know nobody that's gone through life and been like, you know, everything has just been perfect. Yeah, you know, it's right? never gonna be perfect. And, no. and I mean I guess the best example of that would be like, you know, people like um Kate Spade. And uh, yeah. Anthony uh, Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain. Like they yeah. just committed both of them committed suicide in the past like week. 
Yeah. Do you really think that they committed suicide? You, what you think, girl? I don't know. Like, I yeah, I'm, I, I, like I like the conspiracy theory. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I just feel like the government is just like they just been sent here to to, get to kill us. Yeah. I believe that. So I don't know. Like, I don't know Kate Spade, and I I didn't read up on the stories because I, I feel like whenever something big big like that happens i try to stay on social media because everybody feel like they got the fucking answers yeah. and niggas don't got the fucking answers you know right. so it's like i haven't read up on any of it and it's unfortunate that she did take her life like damn but at, at the same time like i wouldn't put it past the government like maybe she has some information that they were trying to get or whatever i don't know yeah i don't, I don't know <laughs> like i said i don't know now the I extent have to research that right. Right. <laughs> You know what I just found out though, like just <laughs> in that same lane is that I didn't realize that she was related to David Spade. I don't know why I didn't put two and two together. But Who's David Spade? He's like a, a white actor. He's like comedian? Yeah, okay. SNL and they're, stuff. They're related? Like, yeah, that's like her cousin or something. I oh, think. wow. Yeah, oh, so like okay. they have a whole family in entertainment. I didn't Did realize. Did she have that. like um, any history of like not well, her husband was saying that he was cheating, huh? No, they were, oh, separated, they were separated, and he was saying like she was going through something, um, but he, I guess, he thought it was fine. Yeah, and what other people are saying, like other people in the family or something, are saying that he was the cause of her going through yeah. all of that. So, oh wow, that's so, what they're trying to say. Yeah. Supposedly, in her suicide note, she said she wrote to her daughter to ask her dad. That's why awesome. she did it but she has a she son too right yeah she has a son. so she ain't write him no letter i mean i guess the daughter i don't, I don't know what the full extent of the story yeah. yeah but i mean either way my whole point is like that it don't matter where you are like things gonna happen mm -hmm. and you can be like case spade and plenty of money because i just bought a case spade first in, in for christmas for, uh, I my remember. Dad, so i got a couple of those yeah. purses she has some nice purses, though. I mean, mm -hmm. it, since I since I researched purses, like I learned the case. She might have a sale nice going purses. on yeah. right now. Oh. I, that's what I, and you know what? And it's, they always it's have kind of sales. fucked up. I know. It's, <laughs> what's fucked up is when when she died. I was like, okay, are they gonna put this purse that's, on sale? Are yeah. they gonna raise you the price? Up. <laughs> they may raise the price, but saying, if you go to the outlets, mm -hmm. they usually have sales around. Um, holidays. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, case yeah. is you can find it anywhere, but it's it's. Those are some nice purses and stuff. But, like, she's on top. And then, like, Anthony Bourdain, he he was really doing well. Like, he like he said, he had, the quote that I saw from him, he was saying that uh, he felt like he had won a car or something because he had, um, what did he say? He, he got famous in his 40s. He had his first kid in his 50s. You he know had his saying? first wow. kid in his 50s? Yeah. Like, yeah, because he was a heroin addict. Yeah. yeah. That's what you said. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So, like, he, his life had just now started to just bloom. So, he it's like, like be some type of conspiracy. Now I gotta go. Right, that's weird. Like I don't like I don't know him either. I saw that he was on CNN and he did the food thing or whatever. Yeah. But like, if you feel like you just living your life, like why would you want to take your life? And he hung himself too. I think that's like the worst um, way to. I he didn't hang I, I heard something about that, but I think he hung himself. I think he kind of got back into his old habits. Okay. Okay. He overdosed? Yeah. You think he overdosed? Probably. Oh, he might have. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't they say, they say, yeah, they say he was on site about to do another show. Oh. Um, okay. They found him in his hotel room. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How I mean, do you find somebody? Well, I guess, like, if you're calling in, me like, oh, I mean, okay. Yeah. As long as you don't find me, like, what we said about uh, David Carradine, as long as you don't find me, like, hey, but that wasn't even suicide. That boy was just trying to get off. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. He hung himself in you ever, you ever seen closet. You ever seen Kill Bill before? No. Uh, what else? Wait, I don't know. But what anyway, else? he 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 was uh, what what's it called? Expiation. Yeah. He was in the he was in his closet hanging by his uh, belt yeah. and beating his meat because like he was mm. trying to get that whole feeling and he died. Yeah, that rush of near death. In yeah. That. Oh, so he didn't do it on purpose. No, he did no. it on accident. Yeah. Wow. But I, I've heard that people do that. And, I mean, white Ooh. people, of course. But I mean, yeah. I would never, I could never see myself hanging myself. Just to get, to get that orgasm. Yeah. Uh, that's crazy. I don't that's questions. People <laughs> <laughs> be really addicted to sex. Like, no. Yeah, like, it, it's messed that up. That shit is but, demonic yeah, in a weird way. That, that is crazy. Why do you want to choke somebody like that? No, he was choking himself, I mean, he's choking right? himself. That's yeah, different. but so... 
He they, liked they, to get but, choked. But that's that was his thing, though. Like, he had somebody choke him He liked to get choked. That's what he's looking for. I mean, some people... I can see that, the whole BDSM thing. Like, I get it. That's um, a, that you have somebody else with you and they choke you. That's different to me. Oh, that's right. Okay. That's okay for you, huh? I, I've never been choked. So. Hey, same oh, word. Same word. Pineapple. Pineapple. But yeah, so I, I, I don't know. I've never been choked, so I, I, I couldn't tell you. But I, I think that's crazy too. But hey, it's just crazy to me how like all these things come up with people that are, that's super supposed to be like the most powerful people in the world. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Like all these things come up with people that are, that supposedly are living great lives. I mean, even if it's not you know suicide and death, even just. You know, people be like severely depressed and have all the money, like Kanye, you know, well, well, bipolar well, and all that kind of stuff. Like when the uh, it was the case Spade or the Anthony Bourdain stuff came out. Um, like uh, what was the movie? It was a uh, Hook with Robin Williams was on. Yeah. Okay. And I was just thinking about that, like this person that made all these kids happy and lived like portrayed like a happy life, or whatever, was really going through battling some demons behind. And I love Robin Williams. And listen, the thing too is like when you. People always say like, "Oh yeah, my kids are the reason why I'm, why I'm still here. I lose right. why I live and stuff yeah. like that." When those reasons are not enough, it's like, "What yeah. the fuck?" Yeah. Right? Like, what are you really living for? Yeah. I mean, he must have been in a really dark place. Like, but, yeah. I've never been in that place where I wanted to kill myself or off myself. But have you ever thought about it though? I've like thought, thought about it. Okay, yeah, I'll say everybody's. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you tell somebody tells me, like, I never thought about suicide, you lie. Yeah. Everybody thought about taking suicide. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you don't really think to it like a, a deep thought to where you're like, what yeah, I yeah, I've with? never acted on it. Yeah. Or, yeah. and I've, I've had suicidal thoughts when I was younger, when I was like super angry, you mm-hmm. know? Like, yeah. that's usually, yeah. yeah, that's usually how it goes. Mm-hmm. So I mean, but and but Robin Williams actually had quotes where he said, um, I, I just saw one the other day I about where he was saying that um, you know basically people that that make people laugh, it's it, they make people laugh because they know that that feeling is something that like they can't get, right? And so they try to make sure everybody else is happy, right? Even though they're not happy, yeah. So I mean, the like, signs were there, I guess. Yeah, like I said, I understand that because that's something I always battle with. Like somebody asks me, uh, like what makes me happy. Yeah. And I told him, like, uh, I really didn't have an answer for it. My answer was pretty much was, I like seeing the happiness that I give other people. Right. right. Like being there for somebody, support, whatever the case may be. That makes me happy. But as far as be like, what makes you happy? Is it some kind of item or something like I'm like, I really don't know. Yeah. You don't know to, now either? I, I still don't know. It's, 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 it just feels so, like... What? Hmm? You, Making other people happy. Making other people happy, happy makes me makes me happy. It gives me a, a sense of, like I can say, a pride and joy and stuff like that. But as far as being like, oh, somebody bought me something, I'm like, oh, okay, thank you, I appreciate, appreciate that. It, yeah. Are you not but, happy? But it's nothing that makes me just like overjoyed. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, like that, and that's why, like, I mean, because I like giving gifts, but like people ask me what I want, and I'm like, eh, I don't really know. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not nothing that just really stands out to me. Like, this is gonna make me happy no matter what. Like, you know, like my girl does makeup. So like I, I buy her makeup and I know that's gonna make her happy. So like, right. You know what I'm saying? I don't have anything that I can just be like like or some people have like J's. People yeah. love J's. If people buy a pair of J's, they be like, oh my god, I'm, that that's exactly what I want. So I no new like gym it. clothes, mm. mics, headphones. I mean, I'll be happy for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll, 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 I'm thankful. I'll appreciate I'll, yeah, it. I appreciate you. You know, say all day long. But as far as being like, oh my god, I didn't know you get this for me. I'm yeah. like, I mm. I haven't been like. That. Yeah, I just haven't had that feeling like ever. But I, but I love making I love making wow. other people happy though. Yeah. I, I, I've had that feeling as a kid, but as yeah, long, say, as far as my adult life, I've had I'll say yeah. As a kid, I used to love video games. So when I got like a new system, or oh, a new yeah, game, I'd be Crunk, I'm gonna yeah. stay up all night. I would be hyped, but like now I, as an adult, I'm like you know, it just I'm just happy to see other people happy now. Like I don't really need anything, and I think that's one of the biggest things. Like when we're talking about turning the L's into something positive, I think the best people to look at, well, to me, not for everybody, but for me. Uh, like comedians, because mm-hmm. most comedians, if you ever look back at comedians, they they usually come from something very terrible. Like mm-hmm. their lives. Like Richard were Pryor's terrible. life. Richard Pryor, even Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart had a stand up called "Laughing My Pain," and if you watch the the DVD that went with that, he went into like where he went, where he grew up at. Yeah. And, like, he starts crying and stuff in the DVD and everything, and so like a lot of comedians come from very terrible circumstances, and they take those bad circumstances that they're in and make yeah. it, you know, funny. Yeah. Right. Like even though it's not a funny situation, like they make it funny and it's it's crazy to me. And I think those are I always look at comedians as being kinda of like my idols in, in just dealing with depression. Because yeah. they, they 
I want to say it's always. It. I, I don't. I want to say it's always healthy though. Like sometimes they overlook things and make yeah. them funny, mm-hmm. and then they don't deal with them, and then they end up like. You know, Martin Lawrence, but he had a breakdown. Cat Williams had a breakdown. You know what I'm saying? Like Martin they, Lawrence had a breakdown? Yeah, he was running through, he through the streets naked. Yeah, yeah in the dark. What was in that? The, uh, late I'm late the 90s. Oh, okay. No, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was early 2000s. It was early 2000s. It was early 2000s. Oh, I must have been young. Yeah, it was like, it was like 03, 04, maybe. Maybe, yeah, because I was still in high school. She was I, like, I was in middle school. I still think somebody did something for him to make him. Oh, yeah, no, he was on, like, he was on something, too. Like, somebody had given him something. And then he just, but all the stuff that he had already been dealing with, plus the drugs, he just ran down the streets naked. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, then he was like, he was in the jogger suit, he was just running, and then he was like, got hot. Then he just yeah. took everything off, and he just started running some the Police were all out there with him, and he was just naked. Wow. I didn't even wow. care about that. Richard Pryor just burned himself yeah, up. Yeah, Rich, Richard Pryor burned himself up. Like, all the comedians deal with a lot. Mm. And that's why everybody's like, you know, they wait for the comedians to have a breakdown because comedians deal with so much. Yes. And they just make jokes out of it. It's like, like I said, yeah, sometimes it's healthy. With, yeah. yeah, sometimes it's healthy, but sometimes it's like, damn, you didn't even I feel like Kevin Hart was going to have one. I was like, ooh, it had come because he cheated. I think, I oh, because of the whole cheating Yeah, thing? I was like, ooh. I was, I was surprised he made it out of that one, too. He, I was like, he made a whole show out of that? Yeah. That's... <laughs> he may have. I feel like he may have a breakdown. I don't know. But um, maybe that's why he outed himself. Yeah, I think he wanted to get ahead of it. Yeah. <laughs> so he, he knew it was coming. Yeah, right. so he had to deal with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was smart. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I was like, I was so sorry. Yeah, I was so sorry. I was like, yeah, I'm like, you come out because you're going to get extorted if you don't. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they were going to get him. Yeah, so. I feel that, man. Um, so we're going to go ahead and round out the check yourself segment. So just the main takeaway for this is just whenever you have an L, whenever you take an L, taking a loss, you know, something goes bad in your life, to not focus on that negative, try to turn it into something positive. That's the whole takeaway for that. And so with that said, we're going to move into the final segment, which we call the Wusa segment. And so for our Wusa segment today, we're going to talk about Basically, and um, Zakia actually brought this up earlier, and I was like, "That's good," because we were talking about positive affirmations. Mm-hmm. So one of my main things is, and I and I was talking about this actually earlier today to somebody. Uh, I think it was my girlfriend or somebody, but I was telling them that I needed to start doing more positive affirmations in the morning, yeah. and then like developing some sort of a mantra, some sort of a morning ritual, so that I can be like, "This is what I'm how I'm going to start my day every day." Yeah. So I'm going to ask you guys. Do you have either um, a ritual that you do in the morning time or positive affirmations, or is there a life mantra that you feel like you live by at all? And you can take, like we, we tell people whenever they're doing therapy, you know, take a few seconds to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> take a few seconds to think about that shit. Yeah, um, take a few seconds to think about it and then give me your response. I would say for me, like I said, stated earlier, like I meditate. Um, mm-hmm. you do it in the morning? Yeah, for at least six minutes. Okay. Oh, that's good. And... So you really get in it. I was, that's, yeah. that's good to have yeah. time. Yeah, too, I do it. I try to do it when I first wake that's up. That's what I said you should. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. after I do the... After I meditate, that's when I do the positive affirmations. It just... I don't have any, like, set positive affirmations. I just say whatever is on my mind at the time, like... Yeah. I am beautiful, I am enough, whatever, I am smart, I'm yeah. important. Damn it, people like you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel that. What about you, Ashley? Do you have anything that you think about? Do you do anything in the morning as a ritual at all? You do have a morning thing. I do pray in the morning. Sometimes okay. I get up, I say, like, I'm not going to tell you what to say, but I pray okay. in the morning. And, like, I have on my bathroom, like, a... Uh, uh, dry eraser board. I always uh-huh. have something written the day before that I'm going to read for, probably not do it for the whole week. It's something positive. That's positive. That's pretty good. And I don't look at the phone. Like, I try not, I had that Man, day. okay, so that's Let's the conversation. The that's the conversation I was having today because I was like, you know, one of my things is that when I wake up, I roll it because my alarm's on my phone. So yeah. I turn my I, alarm off. I just off, hit it and I keep going. I start scrolling. scrolling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I have to stop so. it. I, well, I, I will say like really quick. I keep my phone like away from my bed now. Man, like it's know. it's not on the other side of the room, but yeah. it's not in arm's reach. Like I don't sleep with it in the bed anymore. Yeah. So I don't sleep with it in the bed. I don't sleep with it in the bed, but it's right there. It's yeah, like the night night night. Yeah. 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 I try to stop it. What about you, Wash? You got any morning rituals? Uh, I wake up in the morning, like say say a, a quick prayer. Um, I have on my bedroom wall, like I have a. 
I like a couple different quotes and stuff and um like a thing that I wrote like I will and it's just different list of things that I will accomplish, I will do. Yeah. To like to get through my day or my week or whatever the case may be. Um just to kind of start your day your day off in a positive light. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I kinda of that's real. And and the funny thing is I used to see it all the time and I, I mean I tried to at one point, especially okay, so when I was losing weight the first time, because now I'm fat again, but <laughs> when I lost weight the first time <laughs> when I lost all the weight the first time, I lost that hundred pounds. Like it was like I would tell myself my mantra was, I mean it's kind of I don't think it's positive, but like I would always tell myself when I woke up and when I did anything, man, stop doing fat shit. Like, what? don't do no fat shit today. <laughs> that, that's what you tell yourself? That, I, I have to be hard on myself. I hate so, that. <laughs> and, 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 I understand that you I do that. that but like, when you do some fat shit during the day, you like, get Like, what is fat that. shit? I okay, know. So, <laughs> fat shit may not be my fat shit. No, my, my, my fat shit was fat shit. Like, okay, so mm-hmm. me, when I was at my heaviest, like, I was 350 pounds. So I would eat a lot. And so I would go to, like, McDonald's or something like that, and I would get... I would make sure to get the biggest meal they had. Like I, I make sure to get like a double quarter pound or whatever, whatever. Cause fat shit. I can't do it. And then I would get. I have to be supersized because I'm not gonna eat no regular ass medium fries. If they give me no baby size. And I give me some ranch to dip fries in. They doing too much. Okay, I do that. I do that at Jack in the Box still. Fat shit. Like I did fat shit. I do. I do fat shit at Jack in the Box. So like, but I had to wake up and tell myself, okay, today don't do no fat shit. And so, like, when I go, I was still going to McDonald's. This is when I was working in Sharpstown. So, like, I was, there was a McDonald's down the street from Sharpstown, and, like, my, my lunch wasn't that long. So, I'd have to shoot to the, I'd go to McDonald's because it was close. So, mm-hmm. I'd shoot to McDonald's, and I was like, okay, don't do no fat shit. And so, like, I was like, okay. So, then I get there, and that was when those, um, I don't even think they make them anymore, those deluxe wraps. I don't know. I haven't been to McDonald's in a while. Is it, like, the chicken? It's, strip? like, it's a chicken wrap, but then, like, it had, like, lettuce and tomatoes and everything yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, and so yeah. I would get that instead of a burger and I would get like a small fry. This is how I started. And so from that point on, like every day I tell myself, don't do no fat shit today. <laughs> so, like, eventually I stopped going, I actually stopped going to McDonald's altogether. I started finding other places to get food or I actually started cooking my own food and bringing it to my lunch. Right. And so like you, you develop a mantra or something that you tell yourself and it, whether it's good or bad, if, if it gets you a, to a positive result, yeah. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Do what works for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's real shit. Yeah, so like, I would wake up and say, don't do no fat shit today. But the funny thing is, I used to like, um, I used to write stuff on my, I used to have a mirror in my bedroom, and I have dry, and I have shit load of dry erase markers because I'm a teacher. So I have a dry erase markers all the time, so I would just write stuff on my mirror, mm-hmm. but then I, I took that mirror out of my room and I just haven't written shit since. So, see, I'm like there with, uh, like I said, I have certain, certain goals, whatever, like, uh, like on the fat shit topic. Yeah. Like 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 I'm going on a trip or whatever. You know what I'm saying? My main thing in my head, my mantra, whatever I'm really starting to work out, whatever, is to be like, if my trip is six weeks away, I don't want to hear somebody say, Hey sure, what's up, Alan? You sure he's eating good. You're eating good. Yeah, you sure like you're eating good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm that's that's a nice way to say you fat. Right. Because yeah. 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 <laughs> after nigga tell you that he start laughing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I, I don't know shit. That's I don't... some mean shit. I would never. You know I'm saying, like, people, me and him, though, they'll say that shit oh, quick. Yeah. Cause, Cause Lady told me that shit quick. I seen him like, I ain't seen him like a couple of months. I know. <laughs> Lady you just tell your husband, I don't think that dress like, gonna work today. Lady, Lady, I, got the, I got out the car for something. It was like, something was, I don't even met up. And I got out the car with him. He said, like, LB, what's good, baby? Show is eating good. I said, like, you fuck ass nigga. But. <laughs> Like I said, yeah, I, like, I don't want to hear that shit. So it makes me like, that make me get up off the couch and like and take my ass. And, and the funny thing is, once you once you start getting yourself into a positive light, like you'll start seeing people. People will start seeing it in you, whether yeah. it be fat shit, whatever. Like even if it's just you, your whole energy. When your energy starts to shift, people will come to you and be like, you know, I, I see you acting like different, and they may they may not even understand it. They'll just mm-hmm. be like, you just different. Like something is different about you, and you can take that as a positive affirmation. Be like, you know what. You mean right. whatever I'm doing is working. I got that glow. Right. I got that glow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 my aura is really shiny right now. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, it's, it's all I'm good. I'm going to write that on my board. Don't do no fat shit. Don't do no fat shit. <laughs> hey, it helps. Shit, it helps. you go to the gym Man, and work out. No. Yeah, I know. You, you get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I can't, I can't do that. You get up at 5 every day? Not every day. Oh, oh, she girl. do it a lot. I like the morning. Like three times a week at least. 
Nobody's there. I used to be that person that got up early to go to the gym, but now I'm, I'm a night owl now. Mm -hmm. I stay up too late for that shit. That's my problem. Mm -hmm. I can't go to sleep at night. You know? I be knocked out, y'all. <laughs> That's because you be up at five though. Like if I, I can wake I'm up, I'm in the bed and not Night. Nah, right. I wish I could. I I don't be in a, I don't be sleep before. I think the earliest I've ever been sleep is eleven, mm -hmm. and that's early for me. So I be sleeping around midnight or one every night. So yeah, but I'm like that too. I, if I work out, I gotta work out in the morning, like early, because I'll make excuses for yeah. myself. Like it be the time I'm not like you like you know again. you know what I'm gonna have to work out. And I gotta do this. I gotta take this shower. Shit. You know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna eat now. Yeah. 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 I can burn it off later when I work out. Yeah, I work out like, in the house. I'll be good. Nah, I can do it after. Yeah. I ain't going shit. I'm going Yeah, home. no, can you come over here all the time and be like, yeah, I'm going to run an after. I'm like, stop it. Yeah, I'm going to go home. Yeah, I'm going to get some wings. Right. <laughs> but I'm real. Depends <laughs> how I'm feeling today. But I thought I was going to stop eating meat for a minute, too. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to say, you're somebody eating vegan stuff. So like, how, like, are you vegan? Are you vegan? I'm, I'm not. Like, <laughs> so. The guy, okay, the guy that I was dating, he's vegan, so That's the situation. yeah, mm -hmm. so he's, he's vegan, vegan, and when we started dating, like, I guess I was vegan, okay. but like, after we, you know, kind of broke up, if you'll say, mm. I went back to eating meat, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I only eat chicken though. <laughs> But I tr I'm trying hard not to because it's like whenever I eat chicken, I feel guilty as hell. Like, You're right. Really? Have you ever yeah. tried pescatarian? Like to just, just do fish? fish? Mm -mm. I, I, I liked it. I tried it for a couple months and I liked it, but it was just too expensive. Yeah. You know, like it cost too much to eat seafood all the time. Right. Well, now I'm, so, I'm on this uh, smoothie diet. So I'm going to see if I can make it through the week. Just drinking smoothies because I, I I don't eat until after twelve o'clock anyway. Like I fast in the morning, okay, yeah. um, which helps me you know curb my appetite. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like I'm I'm not as hungry because I've trained my body to not eat in the morning. Yeah. So we're gonna see if I can make it through the week. Can you drink water? No, I drink water you drink water. in the morning. Yeah, I drink water, but I just don't eat any solid foods. Like I will drink water or tea, but. No solid. I don't think I can date a vegan. I like it's really vegan. not that bad. I could just see him saying, I don't like what it's <laughs> Well, bitch, be gone. But that's the thing. Like, he <laughs> never, <laughs> like, <laughs> and when I did eat meat, he never made me feel like, oh, you shouldn't be. Like, I know I'm not supposed to be eating it. What the fuck? But it's like, <laughs> it's good. And, you know, we went to a vegetarian restaurant out here in Houston, and they had vegan meat, and it was pretty good. Mm. His family okay. is vegetarian too. His mom. He cooked. black. Mm-hmm. Wait, I've had I mean, vegan bacon before. <laughs> vegan bacon was actually pretty good. Yeah, his mom mm. made um she made these croissants with vegetarian bacon in it, she and made. then mm -hmm. where's she from? There, well, his mom and his dad is from Dominica, mm. so they're West Indian. So his dad is okay. a Rasta. Yeah, that's all. His dad uh, is a Rasta, uh, and his whole family is vegetarian. So it's like. But his mom made this Rush. um <laughs> this vegetarian meat like a couple weeks ago and it was really good. I need yeah. a pasta in Miami. Not too well. I don't know. I don't think I can do it. But I had somebody like make me like a turkey burger and like turkey. I was like, yeah, what like is this? You, oh, know, like I like it. Turkey. you don't like turkey no, burgers? Like, it was fine, but I was like, what the I feel like I was cheating. What? <laughs> I love turkey burgers. Yeah, I don't know, some right. I'm like, what the hell? I like turkey burgers, like salmon burgers. Oh. Mm -hmm. Salmon burger. Yeah. Salmon. salmon. That's salmon. 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 You can't help but kind of take some of the tricks. Like, yeah, and so. it, like I learned how to make new things, like which I wasn't like completely upset about. I was like, now I know how to make vegan Alfredo, and I know how to make vegan um, macaroni and cheese. Nice. That's a I was real saying, it's, relationship. It's not a negative thing. So yeah, yeah it wasn't a negative thing. It came into your life for a reason, right? Got you a I made I actually made kale chip <laughs> chips yesterday. Kale chips. Yeah, they were really good. I've had kale chips I bought from the store. They were all right. I'll eat them. They're really good. And see, that's the, that's the issue, though. Like I say, like, somebody, like, 
me and you, for example, like when our, our family is like Louisiana roots and oh, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, like, I'm gonna eat some like, yeah, real we, food. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, I'm doing this vegan thing right now and just want to make some gumbo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm like, my mama oh, told me, don't you mess with my meat, like that type of stuff. Yeah. You know, they're gonna have yeah, they everything don't respect, in there. They don't respect your dietary choices. Not no, at all. No. See, my family, both sides of my family, like my mom and my dad um, side of the family, like they're from the South too. And like when I went back home, like it was Easter weekend, mm-hmm. and I went to my grandmother's house and my father's side of the family. Mm-hmm. What kind of food? Collard yeah. greens, yeah. rice, yeah. chopped barbecue, yeah. all that oh shit, macaroni God. and cheese, and that sounds her right food. Now. Yo, that sounds so good right now. <laughs> but her food is so good. Like I was just like, there's no way I'm saying no to this. I'm sorry. Yeah. I think it's gonna be <laughs> occasionally, but I ain't giving it up. Yeah. Like I'm saying, I, I cannot ride ride I through like Louisiana and get some. I don't do crackling, but I'll do. yeah, I'm not really into crackling. Really. My mama but do. She crackling does. is like uh, what pork skin? It's like pork, pork skin rice. with the meat on it. You gotta have the right when the bag is just greasy, with, greasy. with yeah. the meat on it. Yeah, yeah, like fried kind of. It's kind of fried. Yeah, they're not See, I only have pork rinds and pork skins. Yeah, yeah, oh, pork no. rinds and pork skins is the only thing. Crackers have a little bit crackling. of meat. Because yeah. my grandfather used to go hunting, right? Mm-hmm. Like, he had, like, would go get, like, deer meat and, oh, like, yeah, like yeah. hard and stuff like that. And he used to cook it himself. And it's like, when he used to cook it, everybody, like, our family used to know. So everybody had, like, their own personalized jar. <laughs> they would go hide oh, in the of house. Of, uh, like, crackers. Crack. Oh, okay. And so behind, because everybody, like, would go in your jar and steal your shit. Because mm-hmm. everybody was like, this is not worry about that with me. I yeah. didn't like that shit. Oh, shit. That shit break yeah. your teeth. I don't know how to yeah, do that. Yeah, it is hard. How do you eat that? Like, crackling is a hard. I'm compared to, like, compared to, like, like just the line, like, just the skin. Well, like I said, if you buy from the store or something like that, it'll be hard. But if you get somebody that know how to make them, mm-hmm. like, it'll be soft. soft. Stuff, you know? she, she, mm-hmm. Every time I go. It'll be soft and so spicy and shit. Yeah, yeah, spicy. For real spicy. Too much. I read shit right now. I'm about, to, I'm about to do some I bad shit. Booting. What you got to get? Oh, no. Shit, yeah. uh-huh. Dang, I don't know. Dang, I want a taco right now. You know, got no good taco spots in Houston, man. I, that's the one thing I do remember. What? Yeah, I like Houston velvet tacos. I mean, that, I mean, torch yeah. cheese is good. They Velvet's good. okay. Yeah. I don't have that good. I love Velvet tacos. Ones. It, was, it was pretty good, but it, it was, torch cheese is better to me. I, I just like torch cheese. You torches. think I, I like Velvet more than torch cheese? Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I'm trying to stay away from both of them for right now, so we'll see yeah, how it goes. Okay. So, but we're going to go ahead and round this thing out, man. Um, y'all have anything to say? Shout out? I know you ain't got nothing to ask you. Like, no shout out. Shit. Yeah, not shout sure. <laughs> are, you, are you leaving next week? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Are you going I don't to know combo? yet. I don't know yet. I'm um, still working on it. So you gonna let us know? What? If you leave it, though. Oh yeah. yeah we gotta record next week, you know. Yeah, yeah we, we do we have record. to record sometime. We, we ain't recording the day I leave. I leave like if I'm leaving, I'm leaving on Thursday. Right, but then we got. Oh, you haven't booked your trip yet? Nah. She oh, bought it. She bought okay. it. She good. She, I'm like, she shoot, bothered. I need to book my shit two months in advance. <laughs> right. No, she bought it. She good. The the flight's cheap. I don't think so because who's going? I don't feel like. Never mind, we cutting this shit out. Like, right? I'm not I'm not okay. shit. I'm not no. shit. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know yet. <laughs> so so you're up in the app pretty much. Mm-hmm. So okay. let's see. But we going to celebrate because it's your birthday. Yeah, it's my birthday. That's not my birthday weekend. When's your birthday what? weekend? After the next weekend? I'm June 27. Okay, so the next weekend. Yeah. So on up, screw. Uh-huh. All right, so. What so you can watching? you come out there and get yeah, busy? Yeah. Have oh, a drink? Yeah. Let me know. I will come out. Because, like, I've been in the house lately. And yeah. I've been trying to meet new people, too. So, me that too. shit's hard. Sure. And we're trying, to, trying to extend our it. podcast family. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and, like, you know what I'm saying? Get to know more people and not be real black people and not socialize with other black folks. Right. Thank you. Keeping so black I'm trying to do the same thing. <laughs> it's hard, but. Yeah, it's very hard. Yeah. Watch, you got anything before we get out of there? Nah, I think that's about it. Right oh, okay, cool. So, Ms. Akia, all your contact social media. Where can they find you? Yeah, where can they find you? Okay, me? so the podcast, which is, you know, the business side or whatever. Uh, Facts of Life podcast on Instagram. Facts of Life pod on Twitter. And Facts of Life on Facebook. Mm-hmm. And then my personal information, I'm five foot two on Instagram. I deactivated my personal Twitter for right now, but once it's activated again, uh, I'm five foot two. I'm pretty much I'm five foot two everywhere, um, and that's spelled I'm I am the number five foot F O O T T W O, not two but two, <laughs> the number two. <laughs> sorry, sorry. And uh, what's your uh, 
I guess what's the email they can find you at? Oh, sorry. Facts of Life Podcast at gmail.com. And you can find me on SoundCloud. What else? What is it? Stitcher, uh, iTunes, and um, Google Play. Facts okay. of Life. Okay. Now, I just want to make sure that because I know you put it out there. Hey, don't be hitting me no business outside of the email. Don't Look, I inbox. like I don't mind. Like I'm only saying that for the creeps. That's what I'm saying. Tell yeah, because yeah. it's like I'm just trying to be we- like if you're serious. The yeah, shit. like dick tell picks. them that. The dick pics gotta stop. Right? <laughs> no, not the dick oh. pics, but like I've fallen into the. Tra- <laughs> you, want, you want the dick pics? I've fallen into I don't the like trap. Like dick pics. A couple of times with oh. these with these men what out here, like so. That? Ashley be getting dick pics. That's what why she's saying that. You she do? Dick pics. Man, what? Ooh, uh, they, be like, they be like, hey, I see you on that podcast. Dick yeah, pics. dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> I be like, okay, what you're doing? This no, sir. Hey, the pod today, dick, dick pics. pics. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Because I want to talk about penis. Like, yeah. like, like yeah. why would you want to do that? Like, ooh. I don't even think that they penises. I be like, you just throwing something no, out there. I'm just saying, but you get a lot, though, though. What? Not, you get a lot of dick pics. Not no more. Not no more. Okay. Oh, like, okay. if I don't ask for it, please don't send it. I don't like right. dick pics. I'm good. Yeah, we, we understand. They're like, they're like, I like your podcast. No, thank you, dick pics. Yeah. That's fucked right. <laughs> oh, you can't even be nice. <laughs> All right, That's so crazy. so your 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 Twitter is going to be 5 foot 2 with the number 5. Number 5 foot 2. Foot two. Okay. Yeah. And then everything else is Facts of Life Podcast on IG, Facts of Life Pod on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And your email was what? Facts of Life Podcast at gmail. At gmail.com. All right. Yeah, man. All right, so I think we are done. That's it. Okay. Thank you well, for having me. Oh, for sure. Thank, Thank you for coming. coming. Yeah. yeah. Uh, awesome. This is a good conversation. Yeah, right. I'm saying, like, we, uh, like I said, we interacted on uh, Twitter a long time ago. We did? Yeah. Like, me, you, and I, I know I did. Yeah. I did. I I did. Yeah, I see you on there a I, lot. I, I, don't, I don't tweet a lot. Okay. I try, I, so I, maybe that's why. But yeah, I see yeah. you You tweet a I lot. Do. Yeah. Twitter too much for me. Absolutely. I love Twitter. I can't do it. I can't. I don't think it's too much. It's stress. So you must be tweeting from the What's the Remedy page. No, I just, uh, yeah, he tweet from there most times. I do most. If, if, okay. if it's something coming from our Instagram, it's more likely me. Yeah, if it's something coming from uh, Twitter, it's most likely you. Know, okay, got it. Stuff. But like I said, I say like one or two things on Twitter. I'm mostly just kind of looking to keep up with news and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Creeping. Yeah, lurking. You know, <laughs> lurking. Lurk, 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 lurk in the so, shadows. You know. yeah. Oh, okay. Nah, <laughs> Sending dick pics. Nah, that's yeah. it, though. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we, again, we appreciate you coming. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hopefully, you'll come back and we'll do some more. Uh, big yeah, we need to set things. up something for mine. I just, I'm all, all over the place right now. But I yeah. Feel, hey, we, you know what I'm saying? Just let us know. Yeah, yeah. We, we good either way. Yeah, but like I say, as always, we hope you laughed a little, learned a lot, and hope we've helped you find the remedy to whatever's ailing you. This is what's the remedy part. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what? I forget the tag at the beginning of every fucking time. I hate you. And I don't remember until you say the one thing. So, oh, well, fuck it. We can <laughs> conversation, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Oh, yeah. This is really good.